Well, my journey with Trinity started when I was in uh, fourth year in school, actually. And I remember I walked through the front square and I was like, oh my God, like this place is incredible. Like I want to study here. And then I did the access programme. It's a difficult year, but it's so rewarding and they teach you so many things. And then from there, I got into the English Studies programme and that's what I've been doing for the last four years and I can honestly say it's been the most incredible experience. So if you start off with Beckett, he's looking directly at you. The piece is about inspiring generations and he is the man that was chosen to uh, be the inspiration. Um, Beckett also then uh, stands with his hand just slightly open his body language is asking you to look over at the other figure that's, that's part of the story. Um, but also in there, uh, his finger is pointing over to Leah, but then the pen that he holds is pointing to his heart. And that's quite important because, you know, Beckett wrote from the very core of who he was as a, as a person. And then when you move over to Leah, Leah is standing there and she's holding her thesis. And that's important that she stands uh, with that piece, you know, equal to Beckett with, with his work. But then also, one of the other main characters that's in the piece is the architecture of the Campanile itself. Um, and that is the piece that links the two characters. And that is the piece where the two minds have met. My first encounter with Beckett came when I read Crop's Last Tape. I remember thinking that it was never going to be anything I'd ever understand. Since I've studied him, I think, I think I understand his writing a little bit better and I understand that he, at the base level of it all, he was just writing about being human. My granite, when I started doing this course, English in general, he had such a love of literature. I used to love getting home from a lecture and sitting down and telling him all about it because he would just soak it up and he'd love it so much. When I first got the email asking me to be a part of the project. I sent forward the email to my mum and dad because I'm in my final year and I was a very busy student and I was very stressed out and I was like, do I have time to do this thing? And the two of them messaged me back and they said, you can't not do it. Imagine what your granddad would say. He'd be proud. And you know, kind of people will come and go and you know, Beckett will come and go and Leah will come and go, but Trinity will continue to offer that place of inspiration, that place of education.